if we do find the missing hello 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 hi noodle welcome friends uh is this the right save i don't know we're gonna play some more this game <laughs> whatever this game is pioneers all of town that's what it's called yeah that one <laughs> jesus christ i'm very sleepy as usual um i forgot the game just like gets right into it there kind of need to not have it do that because time and stuff will move and then that'll be bad what were we doing last time we played, man? What's the goal for today? That's Shout out to one of my friends at work. Um, they gave me a manual for my Magical Melody copy. They happened to have one and were like, here, I don't really care about the manual. You can have it. And I was like, bro. <laughs> so thank you. Um, but anyways, yeah. Hello, friends. Didn't think I was ever gonna say hi. I was just doing stuff. I had to get the PlayStation on. I had to get my little my my drinky drink here. I had to get the game up and going. I was busy, but it's already now. I still don't remember what the hell we were doing last week though, or last week, a couple days ago. Last time we played, whatever day that was. Does anybody remember? No. I know I sure as hell don't. Uh, let's just walk outside and see what's going on out there. I see, okay, so it's the 21st of spring. I would love to get to the first day of fall today. We probably won't, but I would absolutely love it if we did. Okay, I do remember starting to put down the paths and stuff. I do remember starting that up. I know that I want to get sprinklers. That's just like, a excuse me, a goal that I have in general. Um, oh boy, like beyond that though, I don't remember anything. Let's let our animals out and collect whatever's around our farm here. And then we'll take care of our fields and hopefully that'll like remind me a bit of what the hell we were doing exactly. I don't think there was anything like important that we had to do right now or anything. I don't think. Where's the other one? Where's where's the other dude at? Why is there always one of them missing, dude? Like <laughs> every time we call our chickens out, one of them's like ready to go. There we go. And then one of them's just like lagging behind. I guess it's probably just like they don't come out at exactly the same time or whatever. So it just like takes them a second and I miss it or something. I don't know, man. I can be impatient. But whatever, they're out now. Let's go grab their eggs too while we're over here. Make mayonnaise out of one of them. Keep the other. I know I do want to upgrade my house soon. I know that's something I want to do, mostly because I want to, like, have a bigger fridge. That's, like, the main thing. Oh, that was something else that I remember talking about. Um, doing, like, yeah, having the... F keeping some stuff in the fridge... But, like, we can just buy food most of the time. We should probably pick something that's, like, relatively easy to make and somewhat filling and then just keep making that. And then the rest of it just kind of letting or getting rid of the stuff. Like, I feel like we're keeping too much stuff in the fridge. Like, some stuff like, you know, sugar or salt. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Things like that that we're probably going to need all the time we'll, we'll keep keeping around. And like the sauces, like soy sauce, that seem to be included in a lot of recipes or whatever. But I don't know. I feel like we just don't need everything in there. I might end up regretting it. I don't know. But there's obviously just not enough space in the fridge for everything. And even though I do think we get a fridge upgrade when we upgrade our house, I don't think it's going to make a big enough difference to justify keeping everything. So we'll probably just like pick a recipe or two that we like and then get rid of the rest. I also think I have this path like continuing to the right here. I think I'm gonna get rid of that and just have it come down. Meet up with the other one here probably. Mm. The limitations on where you can put stuff in your farm are like killing me, dude. I love the amount of customization that we have with our farm. That's nice, but oof. Not being able to put things where I want to put them 
is killer. Like, I would love to just have a chest near my house. I'm assuming as the house gets bigger, that room is necessary to have for one thing or another. So they probably, like, just can't let you put things up near the house. I'm sure it's something like that. Like, something justified. But still. Is oof. There's our crops taken care of. I don't think these are ready yet. Um, okay, yeah. Let's grab everything out of the fridge here. Let's get rid of the stuff we're going to get rid of. And then let's try to figure out our fridge situation. I think that's going to be, like, the first thing we do today. Keep that stuff. We have eight silver bars. Or, that should be enough to upgrade something if we want to upgrade something. Hmm. If we upgraded something, it'd probably be the hammer. I'm very tempted to do the iron watering can. Oh, but at the same time, I don't feel like it's really that necessary. Why are we carrying around all these tea leaves? Oh, we took it out of the thingy so we can make tea. Duh. Um, I don't know, man. Because, like, if we upgrade our watering can will be able to water more stuff but we could just focus on getting sprinklers and having it be automated i feel like that's also a really good choice anything we want to sell that we have i don't think so oh we'll sell one of the two milk we'll keep one of them the clam's just not worth it it's so cheap i never did end up looking up like how the food system works in the game but okay so if we go to cook here what haven't we made? Yum Moon Soup. We need... All squid group items. So we need some sort of squid. We need an onion, a cucumber, and a whiskered velvet shrimp specifically. <laughs> That's awfully specific. We have so much stuff in our inventory. Let's take out the tools for now. Get those put away. That'll give us a little more space. Okay. First, is there anything we can make that we haven't made before? Can we just, like, clear some stuff off the list? No. Oh, we can make hot milk. Alright, make hot milk. Not that, like... Not that that's gonna save us much space, but... Or any. But whatever. Okay, so that's one thing down. So we need an onion, a cucumber... Wish I could just take, like, everything out of here to reorganize. I'm trying to, like... Mm -hmm. Okay. I mentioned we'll probably keep seasonings and mayonnaise. I hate the star levels on mayonnaise. That makes... Ah! Same with, like, eggs. It just takes up so much space. And everything else will take as much as we can in here. Okay, we know we need at least one cucumber, one onion. What else was it? A squid of some sort. So one of you dudes. And then something we don't have. Let's move... Put you there. I'm trying to like stuff down here is stuff that we actually need for recipes. And then this is like stuff that I probably want to keep around. And then condiments. That's kind of how I'm trying to organize stuff a bit. Okay, we need another onion for this one. See, and that's why, like, I almost feel like we should probably keep a bunch of onions, but maybe you can grow onions year-round. Maybe I don't need to worry about it as much as I am. We are completely out of onion. Okay. Spacho, we need another cucumber. Another cucumber. Let's put another cucumber in here. Oh. And then we need a mushroom. Is it just any mushroom? 
a shiitake specifically, and some eggs. Well, we're keeping eggs in there all the time, so that's easy enough. We can throw a shiitake in there. Where are my mushrooms? In here. And then... Milk and beans. Well, we don't have either of those things. Okay, that's everything for soups. Uh, that's a spice. We're keeping spices in there. All shrimp group items can be used. Do we have anything in our bag that's a shrimp group item? I guess you, the crayfish. I mean, I'll put it in there, but I know we're going to need another crayfish eventually. Because there's, like, the crayfish thing specifically. But whatever, that's the first one we got, so we'll put it in there for that. Uh, this is a pain in the ass. Wait, is sage... Sage is considered some sort of, like, spice or something, right? An herb? There we go. That's what they're called. Same with, like, butter burr. Okay, so there's a couple more things that I'm probably just going to want to keep in here. Along with the spices. So we'll want to keep the oregano. We'll want to keep the sage. We're going to want to keep some tea, because, I don't know, I just like the idea of having, like, drinks, I guess. So that can go with this stuff down here. Royal fern. That's, like, mountain food. Nate, what's up, my guy? I'm surprised to see you here. I just figured you'd be asleep, to be honest with you, then. <laughs> no offense, but holy shit, thanks for the prime sub, dude. I appreciate you. Have anywhere in particular Naughty you want them votes to go, Naughty Alistair? With prime. Some mixed soup. And a vegetable salad. I have no idea how the hunger system in this game works. It makes no sense to me. And some shellfish soup. And we're still not full. Whatever, that's fine. It's Friday and I don't feel exhausted? Congrats, dude. <laughs> I'm proud of you for not feeling exhausted. Where were we, though? <laughs> I forget. Was it tempura? No, it was pescatore. That was the last thing we had. Okay. So for this one, we need an oyster, any kind of vegetable. And that's all we have. An oyster and any kind of vegetable. So we have plenty of oysters. And then any kind of vegetable. The cheapest vegetable we have is probably potatoes. But we already have a cucumber in here for something. So I'm just going to put another cucumber in there because it saves space. And then tempura... Or no, that's the one we just did. We don't have anything for chili shrimp. Chuka soba. I'm assuming that's just any fish group or any small fish. I wish it would tell us like what we have in our inventory that counts as a small fish. Is this a sardine? I'm assuming it's the sardine. That would make the most sense to me. So sardine. And then... Sea bream sashimi. Nothing, nothing. Shrimp toast. I think we're out of stuff for that. Crayfish, we're out of stuff for that. Omelet, we already keep eggs in there. We already keep eggs in there. A potato. A potato, and if we have any more shrimp. We do not have any more shrimp, but we do need a potato. So a potato can go in there. And then... We need a wild berry specifically, and a vegetable. Wild berry and a vegetable. Okay. Wild berry. That's easy enough. And another vegetable we can put in. Ah, too many potatoes. Take out three potatoes. There we go. I know this is like thrilling stuff going on right now, but I want to get all of the recipes made, and this is the only way I can do it with the space that we have. So, eggs we already keep in there. We already keep sugar in there. We keep tea in there. Is that a strawberry? That's a strawberry. Okay, so we need a strawberry. And that's it for the dessert group. Just need to put a strawberry in there. Uh, level zero strawberry because I don't think it makes a... It might make a difference what level stuff is. I really don't know, man. 
think that was it. Do we need anything else? A single strawberry. We already made fruit compote. Nope. Okay. Other dishes. Yogurt drink. We still don't know how to make yogurt, though. Vegetable juice we've made. Tea we've made. Okay. So that's our fridge done. That means technically all of this stuff we can either cook into stuff for food or we can just eat it. Should we just put all of the wild berries in there? Just have it with like... The stuff that doesn't have quality, I'm tempted to just keep in here all the time. If it's edible in any way. So, yeah, screw it. So the wild berries can stay in there. Uh, they're just not as annoying as the other stuff is. There is some quality stuff that I'll want to keep specifically. Like mayonnaise, having some of that in the fridge would be nice. Eggs, of course, tea leaves, etc. But for a lot of it, it really doesn't freaking matter, man. I just need something. And we are low on food at this point. So I might go ahead and make a couple of things. But specifically with stuff from my backpack. Entrees, I'm assuming, fill the most. So can we make any entrees? We can make fried egg. With a level 3 egg? Sure. Cook it. Grilled fish? Nope. Can we make any desserts? I don't think we have anything. Oh, we can make fruit compote out of one of those and the sugar, which we have. We're going to keep making sugar. Sugar is something we just want to keep all the time. So sure, make us some dessert, man. Having dessert's nice. Tea, vegetable juice. Make some vegetable juice. That's healthy. Some some potato cucumber juice. Yummy. <laughs> it's my favorite. Some vegetable juice. And then anything else? Hmm. Potato salad. Vegetable salad. Nah. That'll be enough. Okay, we'll sell the rest. Man, we just got a pop-up, and I don't know what it said. Uh, whatever. We got level 5 cooking. Condiment maker can learn recipes by eating cooked dishes. That's actually really cool. So that'll just, like, we should be able to just learn more recipes with that. So the rest of this stuff, I guess we can just sell and get money for. A decent amount of money, too, at that. I wonder, like, if some foods are worth selling. None of this is ready for harvest, right? I don't know if any of that will be ready for harvest before time runs up for the the season, but it'd be cool if we could get all of the, the trees before then. We need to do this around our farm, at least. Both because we just need more clay and also because there's just a lot of puddles littering around here. And they bug me. Oh, good miss. Good job. Take you. Oh my god, there's so many puddles. I need to, like, flatten out the ground a bit. Maybe lay some gravel or something, man. So we're not just covered in puddles all the time. It would be nice. Oh, moondrop flower. Hello. We can go give that to one of the girls that we like. And yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna take you and take you and put you guys here. Because this chest, we can actually... Are you sure we want to clear... Wait, cancel? Organize. Oh, that just puts us in it. Whatever. Okay. Clear. This wooden item box, we can just put somewhere, I guess. Just put it here next to the rest of them. We don't really need it right now, but at least it's there. Let's go check the community board before we do anything else for the day. Give our one of the one of the girls a flower. Maybe give the other one some mayonnaise. <laughs> I don't know if they like mayonnaise. I know the one talks about like liking food, all kinds of food. So maybe she'll like it. So we'll give you the flower. Here you go. Have a moon drop flower. You're welcome. And then you, hello, Patricia. And the other one should be over here working the restaurant. Is it this one? I think it's this one. Bistro. 
Yeah, there she is. Hello, you. They rent of you to the beauty salon. They did. That's all thanks to me, dude. Huh? Present for me? Yeah, dude. I don't know if you like mayonnaise. I hope you do. Otherwise, this is going to be a little awkward. We do have some money. Should we upgrade something? Or just save it for crafting some things? Oh, oh, a yogurt maker. Look at that, dude. <laughs> when did we unlock the yogurt maker? Well, shit. Okay, that's how you make yogurt. Uh, cool. So we just need three logs and three iron. I think we have that. Regardless, we'll definitely be working on getting one of those today. If we don't already, because I would love to have some yogurt. Both because we need it for one of the quests. To help the children. And also just for recipes. And presumably eating it would be better than just eating milk. Hmm. So sure. Uh, but we were there for a reason. I forgot. Sprinklers. Five iron, three silver. It does cost a bit to get it done. But it's not that bad. Oh, for anybody who doesn't know, potential flashing warning. This game likes to freak out with my capture card for some reason, so you've been warned. That's all. Uh, <laughs> I don't think we need the iron bucket or hoe, or sickle for that matter. It would either be the silver hammer or the silver watering can. The watering can is just five silver. But if we start making the sprinklers, we don't really need it as much. I think sprinklers is probably the right way to go, honestly, even though it costs more. Like, resources? Getting the silver hammer would help us get more stuff in the mines, though. So I think we're going to do the silver hammer today. And then if we have enough left, we'll do sprinklers with whatever we have left, if anything. And then keep upgrading the fishing rod because, yeah, it's fishing, dude. Requesting glass. I don't know how to make glass. I'm not even sure I can make glass. You have no idea. We should start buying more food, though, from the different shops in town. Since that's a thing now that we can learn the recipes just from eating a food. So we should probably eat, like, as many of them as we can. Again, it'd be nice if the game tracked what we have and haven't eaten for us, but... One, I guess that'd be useless since we have already eaten some stuff. That would kind of screw it up. And then, also, there's the whole, like... I don't know, the game just doesn't track anything for us for some reason. <laughs> I think it was, what, just iron? Yeah, which we have plenty of. And I'm assuming regular lumber, but we'll take the solid lumber, too. Craft. Give me the dude. One craft. Let's go, dude. Yogurt maker. Uh, cancel that. And can we put it, like... I'm definitely gonna end up having to move this barn eventually. Um, we're gonna have to smash this tree, because I just want to put it here so it's next to my other machines. Tool bag. Give me the hammer. Smash. It's weird that we smash trees like small trees instead of just I don't know not smashing them and cool tomorrow we can make yogurt I could go to my fridge and get some yogurt but like where's the fun in that I guess or get some some not yogurt the thing that makes yogurt how do we make glass I'm so confused anyways sprinkler five and three I think it's five for the upgrade, right? So we should be able to get our first sprinkler today, too. We won't be able to actually use it until one of our things are, are like, harvested. One of our fields are harvested. Because I don't want to throw away a crop just to put down a sprinkler. All right, silver hammer. Confirm. That'll make it easier for us to go mining. Should I just upgrade some of this other stuff for the hell of it? I guess so. Three, six, nine. We might have enough to do all three. Uh, bucket first, I guess. Uh, 
Ho next. Just spending all of our money. I think, <laughs> now that I think about it, I think we were saving up to upgrade the house, but... Oh well, it's fine. <laughs> Everything's upgraded to silver now, at least, though. So, Or not silver, to iron now. Is that all of our iron? We have one left. Well, whatever. We're going to spend the rest of our day mining, so hopefully we just get some more. It would be handy. It would, indeed. I don't know if you're still here, Nate, but I didn't... Uh, did you say what you wanted your votes on, if anything in particular? If not anything in particular, that's fine, but... I can just throw it on something. Just didn't know if you had any preferences, my guy. Not sure? That's fine. So if you don't have a pick, I'll just throw it on something. But there are a bunch of different things that, you're, uh, that you can choose from, of course. And Hannah Montana. I can't even play Hannah Montana. We already picked up the game. You know these. these this. You know these. <laughs> Of course, you can vote on whatever the hell you want to vote on, but you would be basically throwing your vote away if you did that. That's all I'm saying. It's not my fault that it's copywritten. I can't control that. Uh, we need that, and we need the hoe. And the fishing rod, actually. I really want to upgrade the fishing rod now. But it's fine. We'll wait. We might as well take these free ones. Because, I mean, they're free. And they're, like, right here. Let's go, dude. Smash all the rocks. And the iron rocks just bow. Oh, that was... <laughs> I screwed up. Whatever. You'll play it and test it out to see if their actual songs are on. I mean, that's fine if you want to play it. I don't care. But I'm pretty sure it says, like, on the box that there are Hannah Montana songs on it. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong, but I'm almost positive that it says, like, hey, music from the show or 13 tracks from Hannah Montana or some shit along those lines. There's mushrooms popping up everywhere. My inventory is going to be full before I even make it to the mine because I decided to go foraging after talking about how I need to go mining. Spend all the day foraging instead. It's fun. Do we still have room? We still have some. If we run into a bunch of the moles, it might become a problem, but... I guess I should check and see if there's any, like, free ladders first, which there are. We do need stone, too, of course, because I want to get my stone half, but, like... But we don't need, like, to go out of our way to collect it. We're just going to end up collecting a bunch of it naturally anyways. Um, you know what? It takes, what, one swing now to collect iron? Yeah, so we might as well collect the iron when we come across it, since it's free. And we're specifically down here searching for silver, so if we see silver, we should probably try to get that, too. Come on. I'm I know it's possible to get, yeah, like, everything. Good mess. Iron, well, basically free. Ignore the dude. I mean, we need to collect all the things eventually. But just because my inventory is kind of low, I feel like, I don't know. Skip them a bit for now, because whatever artifacts they drop don't stack, because they're in bags and you don't know what they are, and for whatever reason the bags don't stack. A glass rock? I'm assuming that's how we get glass. We collect a bunch of glass rocks and then eventually, like with five of them or something, we smelt them down to glass. I'm guessing. I don't know if that's true, but it would make a lot of sense to me. Bastard. Ah. 
mole. Mole people suck. Uh, can we get... Yeah. Multiple things in a hit. Oh, and the way down. Nice. Nice! And we got... Oh, no. See what I mean, though? <laughs> okay, we can eat something. We're not full yet. Let's eat... Or, let's drink. Let's have some vegetable juice, man. And a fried egg. There we go. That gives us a little bit of space, at least. What level are we on? Nine? We still have no idea how deep this mine goes, either. We've been down as far as level... 15, I want to say? We haven't found the bottom of it yet. This is so much better now, though, with the... The silver thingy. Skilled miner, what'd that give us? I'm blind. Where's mining? There it is. Uh, oh, refined coal, iron item box, and glass! <laughs> and a modest boost to mining ability. I really don't know what that means, though. Like, what is what is raising our mining ability do for us? I'm assuming it just uses, like, less energy to do la mining, but an eel. Is that new? Have we caught an eel before? I don't know. We're going to have to take it to the thingy. Our bag is very much full now. We definitely cannot do any of the, uh, the dudes. The moles, the mole people. Oop. <laughs> so s ridiculously hard to aim where the hell you want to hit things, man. It should not be hard, but if for some reason it really is. Break an iron bearing rock in one hit now. I don't think that was something we could do before. So maybe that like modest upgrade to mining ability, maybe that actually had some sort of effect. Can we get to 20 today? If we rush it, we could probably get to 20 today. Oh damn, this one keeps going. The ladder's all the way back up here. I hate, like, wasting the energy, but... But I want to find the bottom of this damn thing. Oh, I could have got an extra rock there. Screw it, we're going down. You gotta check at least a little bit, right? Aw, oh, you bastard. The charging makes a big difference. Okay, we're just gonna go down. If we find the bottom, then like, I don't know, it'd be cool. It'll probably give us something, and like we can always just respawn at the top or restart the the cave, the mine here, if we get to the bottom and then still have some energy left for whatever. So much iron ore and shit though. Let's go, dude. I heard about Kingdom Come sequel, man. That's really sick. I didn't play a ton of the first one, but I'm still super excited for it. It's set in what, like... I don't want to say Civil War time, but I'm pretty sure there were muskets and shit, right? Like, guns are being introduced? Bruh, where's this ladder at? This is literally the last rock we freaking checked, of course. We got so lucky with so many of them just popping up, like, right away, and then that one was just like, nah, boy. It's hard to ignore the wall. The wall was so good. Okay, you, nope, 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 you know what, just down. We're so close to 20, just keep going down. The worst part is we might have made it to 20 before, and I just don't remember. 
That's a very real possibility. Ooh, Nate, did you watch the uh, Fallout TV show yet? Beautiful, thank you for the five bits. Appreciate it. If you haven't watched it, it's really good. Uh, you know what? I think we did make it down here before. I seem to remember being like, oh, there's another freaking lake. You haven't looked too much into that, and you know that it picks right around where the last game left off? It's set some number of years after the... Oh, you're probably talking about Kingdom Come. I was gonna say, the Fallout show's not really that connected to the games, like, directly connected. It's obviously, you know, same universe, same set of lore, all that BS, but yeah, it's not directly connected to any of the games. And it's set some number of years after all the games are. I think, like, it's not a super long time or anything. I, I want to say it's, like, five years or something. Nothing crazy. Missed part of what I said, Lost Connection. I was just asking about the uh, Fallout show, if you've seen it yet, that's all. <laughs> Alright, let's get all of this stuff in our machines and go to bed. It is late. We're probably going to wake up late with, like, half our energy gone. What is this machine? It's a condiment maker. We can't use it. Seasoning maker, though. We can make some sugar. We can make some pepper. We can do nothing here. Nothing here. We can load up some silver. And some iron. And throw all of this stuff into the things. Are we putting those in there? We were. Coal lump, that can go in there. The glass rock, uh... Actually, I think that's our first glass rock. We'll sell it, just in case it's useful for anything. Flower can go over here for our sweetheart. And then... I think that's it. We can put... These things we were throwing in here, because we need to take them to the thing, but I keep forgetting. Go ahead and throw these in the machine down there. Ooh, not that. You... All of these things are going to places. That's going to be sold. Mushrooms can be sold. We're growing our own anyways. We'll sell... Or actually, do we need the eel for anything? I feel like we might need the eel for something. You and you are going places... Strawberry can be sold. Oh, there might have been a recipe that we needed. An eel for specifically. That's everything. Sell all of this. Decent amount of money tomorrow. Double check the recipes real quick that we need to make. Was there anything? Oh! Oh, we can make fruit salad now. That's new. Why couldn't we make fruit salad before? I'm confused. Also, why does fruit salad require a vegetable? I guess... Fuck. I guess I need another vegetable, huh? Or did we just learn how to make fruit salad? Maybe that's the problem. Fruit salad, yummy, yummy, uh-huh. Does it say, like, new? Oh! There's a bunch of new freaking recipes, man. God damn it. <laughs> Is there anything that I have that I can put in here? Okay, I did need an eel for that, for the unaju or whatever. Sea bream sashimi. This recipe thing is gonna be the death of me, man. There's so many things. I I really am just gonna have to keep a few of everything. At least a few of everything, aren't I? I hate the thought of that, but like I like doing that sort of thing. It's just that there's such limited inventory space here. You know, like, it's almost full already, and that's just with the stuff that we need for recipes, or needed for recipes before 
whatever before we unlocked more stuff. I guess the one thing we could do is if it's like generic any vegetable, any fruit, then we cannot worry about it. Which is a lot of it. Ah, game, whatever. We're going to bed for now. Get stuck on Wiggles TikTok from time to time and you're not complaining? That's weird. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Wiggles TikTok sounds like a weird place to me, an uncomfortable place to me. General store has expanded its lineup. The grocery store has expanded its... That's true. We can go to the grocery store and buy groceries too. If there's anything like that we need that we don't have on the farm or whatever. The new purple wiggle is hot though. That's weird to me too. Calling one of the wiggles hot just feels wrong. I don't, just, hmm, I don't know, man. Harvest? Harvest? Nope, no harvest. Cow! Put you away, put you away. And we'll put you away too, why not? Milk! They have a funny dancing tree man? Wow. Oh, we only got one milk today. That's rude. Oh, shoot. We do need our watering can, though. Please and thank you. Can we charge and move at the same time? We can. Q. Give him a pet. Story of Pioneers? Pioneers of Pioneer Town? Hell yeah. <laughs> it's actually a history game in disguise. It's the story of the pioneers and the creation of every nation. <laughs> What's up, Kappa? Clear away that crap. Come on, other chicken. Get out of here, man. How am I supposed to pet you if you hide inside all day? There he is. Hello, little dude. Ooh, an onion. We needed an onion for something. One of the recipes. I don't remember which one, but I definitely remember that we needed some. Some reason I thought that was tea. I don't know why I'm emptying those machines. Ooh, here we go. Okay, harvest. Please and thank. And that means that we can now place our first sprinkler down. We'll have to craft it real quick. But we'll wait to water this one. Well, no, the sprinkler, if it works anything like the other Harvest Moon Story of Season type games, We'll probably have to water it today still. And then... And then after that, it'll do it like this itself. Makes you want to play the GameCube Harvest Moon? Which one? I'm assuming A Wonderful Life, because that's like a lot of people's favorite one from that era. I've never been a huge fan of it personally, but that's just me. Everybody's like allowed to play what they want to play of course for me it's magical melody for the gamecube era is my is my favorite one for like ps2 gamecube all that stuff I actually just picked up a copy of magical melody a couple of days ago i'm probably going to be playing it soon <laughs> either i'm playing uh innocent life a harvest moon spinoff right now as well as story of seasons pioneers of olive town so I'm currently playing two cozy games already, but as soon as I finish one of these two games, that's going to be the next one that I play as far as cozy games go, is Magical Melody. And then I actually plan on buying soon, whether it's tonight or not, I haven't decided. Yeah, cool. Wait, did it say you can process seeds into like the same quality? So what does the quality of seeds do? I'm assuming it would just raise the quality of your crops, right? Which, I mean, is handy, I guess. Okay, we need these and these. 
we make at least one sprinkler with that? We should be able to. What's the seed maker need? Gold. Okay, so that's not until we get to, like, the next level. Didn't know there were two. Don't remember which one he had as a kid. I think there may have been a third one on the GameCube. There was at least two. A Wonderful Life and a Magical Life. This is just the manual. I have the case down there, but that's the manual for Magical Melody. Ah! My camera wants to, like, cut it off. Picture of the Harvest Goddess on the back of it. I have the actual case over here, too. There's just other stuff on top of it, because I haven't put these games away yet since I just got them. Like, a day or two ago. But anyways, yeah, no, there's at least one, or at least two. Make one sprinkler, please. Automatically water each morning up to, okay. Up to a hundred can be set at a time. Weird that there's a limit to how many sprinklers you can have, but I don't think I would want to have like that many anyways. Okay, we can set it on tilled ground, that's handy. All right, so now we just need to do the thing, I guess. Uh, put away the bricks and stuff, because I want to make some more paths, since we collected, like, a bunch of stone. When we were mining, we definitely collected a bunch of stone. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> Freaking blind. I want to put more paths down. You Stone paths. Do another, like, I don't know how many we actually need. Do the funny number. 69, craft. That should... I don't know if it's going to be enough for the whole farm, but that should cover a decent amount of it. I'm still super annoyed about not being able to, like, put paths everywhere. Because of the, the hill that we have, and then just the weird way the game blocks you from doing things at certain points, or putting things in certain areas. Kinda wish we could have, like, raised garden beds. And as we remove the rest of these trees, we'll put stuff where the trees are. It's just, I don't want to waste the trees by cutting them down, like, now, when they're not fully grown yet. At least by having, like, all these paths in here, we should stop new resources from spawning on top of our, or that close to our garden. And this stuff is all, yeah, like, full of stuff. Can we put, like, in between trees? We can. Can't really see. Can't place there. Don't we have a tree there, though? Whatever. I guess we should come down one more. Just to have it, like, laid out right. And then all the way up the other side. This is where we're gonna have our orchard at. Of trees. Okay. That'll be for, like, next season's trees. We'll start putting stuff there. Alright, we need to get to the store before it gets too late. We should probably take some... Stone, stone, stone. My mind is blanking. Flower! We should probably take a flower for one of the girls that we like. Or we could take two. Here, we have two tulips. We'll give one to each. And sell... I know we need onions for more things. We'll keep the level zero one, though, the, like, low-quality one. And then, did the yogurt ever finish making? Because we do need a yogurt for the quest. Thank you, game. Shoot. Okay, I'll collect this stuff later. Do we have... Uh, do we have five silver? I don't think we have that many silver right now. We are sitting at three. Not yet. Okay. I was going to upgrade our, our fishing rod real quick while we're up there, since we have the money for it, but no, we don't have the silver for it. It's fine. Ooh, is this our first heart event with... Wait, 
Cindy? I hate you, Grandpa. Hey, now, is that any way to speak to your grandpa, little lady? Uh, it might be a hard event with the little girl. We've talked to her a couple of times, or him, I guess? I don't know. Oh, a customer. Sorry you had to see that. My granddaughter had a spat with her mother, so she came to get me on her side, but... I refused to take one side or the other, and, well, you saw what happened. They're fighting over the most ridiculous little thing. At each other's throat over who left the mayonnaise jar open. Can't very well let her be, so I'm going after her. Would you be willing to come with me? I don't think I have a choice, to be honest with you, game. What are you doing here, Cindy? Grandpa? The sand on the beach might disappear, but the frolicking crabs never will. What's that mean? <laughs> it's a poem someone wrote long ago. I think it fit your mood right now. Oh, I'm gonna buy some sweets from the cafe. Do you want to pick them out, Cindy? You'll let me? Do I get to pick moms out too? Sure do, and if you hate her that much, you can get her the tiniest little treat you can find. Oh, great idea. Or you could pick a tasty one and share a bite with her. Oh, then I could try two different ones. It's all up to you. Come on. I mean, that was sweet. By the way, what's Stream doing here? <laughs> what am I doing here? It's just keeping us company. I reckon we should get one for him too, since he came all this way. Would you pick one out, Cindy? Well, we've done our shopping. Time to head back. Bruh, I really am just, like, hanging out, huh? I didn't say a single thing that whole time. That was a weird... Whatever. Okay. I would like nine or eight of your finest seeds, please. Do onions grow spring and summer? I'm tempted to get more of those. We don't have enough time for eight days. Radishes are cheap little dudes. Ooh, these are new mushroom spores here. We'll get, like, nine of them while we're here. Um, uh, fancy pet treats. I forget, I forgot that we had pet treats for, for our animals. More rice? Rice seems like it's going to be used for a lot of things. So do beans. I think I already have some tea leaves growing. Let's grow some more radishes, man. They're cheap. Oh, nope. We want to buy eight, actually. They only take five days to grow, so we have enough time. Stop over here. Give a flower to the dude. Hope you like tulips. Thank you for the gift. You're welcome, bro. Talk to you since you're here, Patricia. And you since you're here, Damon. Damon has a bit of a heart for us now? That's weird. I've hardly done anything with Damon. I've talked to him a bit. That's it. I mean, maybe we gave him a present on his birthday or something. This girl, we actually, like want to woo and she has nothing for us why does damon like us yeah he has like a full heart hello uh drink drink where are you just redeemed hydrate. i found it ah bridget's younger brother maybe that's why he likes us because we're nice to bridget i don't know hmm water All right. Close. Did we talk to you already? <laughs> Thank you for all your patronage. You're welcome, dude. Oh, we can eat while we're here. Maybe learn some recipes. Have a meal. Um, We know how to make both of those. Desserts, though? We know how to make pudding. Do we know how to make candied sweet potatoes? I don't know if we do or not, but it sounds delicious. Not really. <laughs> I don't like candied sweet potatoes. I guess I've never had, like, straight-up candied sweet potatoes. I've had, like, the Thanksgiving yams or whatever. The ones that have, like, marshmallow fluff and crap on them, and I don't care for it. Uh, dessert first, and then... And then... Oh, new. Here we go. Several types of fish are simmered together with tomatoes to make this soup. I like soup. Let's do it. I like fish, too. I don't think I've ever had a fish soup, though. So we should learn that recipe now, right? Aha! After that meal, I learned the recipe. Now I've got something new to cook. Um, salad? We definitely know how to make potato salad. I think we know how to make curry rice, but I'm not positive. And we're still a little bit hungry, apparently, so eat the curry rice. There we go. Full energy. Learned some recipes. We Gucci. Spent a bunch of money on different things. But mostly, like, things that matter, you know? Like, 
seeds. Hello. Hmm. Oh. oh, I forgot about flowers. We could be growing flowers. Three days. Okay, we've done tulips before. Four days. We do have time for these. Oh, no. <laughs> these are all spring stuff, too, man. I don't have enough fields to grow three more types of flowers. Six. We might not have enough time to do the buttercups, actually. Looks like we're gonna miss something, man, on the first year. Make perfume? Smells strongly of fruit? How do we get essence? I'm assuming there's some sort of machine we gotta get to be able to do this stuff. Huh. Interesting. Furniture? Oh, we can buy plants? That's cool. I wonder if they grow all these little trees and stuff. At some point, we should decorate our house a bit. Eventually. Not in a rush for it, but like, it would be nice. Is the museum closed on Sunday? No, it's closed on Thursday. It's good. Because I think Hello. this eel needs to be donated. Yes, it does. Do you like eels? Please. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, that's it for you. Uh, what are these thingies? They're probably mostly stuff that we've gotten before. Cave Pearl we've definitely gotten before. So we can sell that. Silver ore? Well, that's just ore. I don't... We don't have to donate, like, ores and stuff, right? I don't think we do. I mean, I guess we'll go and check with the lady first that takes the donations, but... I don't remember seeing anything that would suggest it. Yeah, no. Okay, good. We should probably talk to these people, too, Hello. since we're here. Get whatever little bit of... Whatchamacallit, whatever, whatever affection we can get. Ooh, um, yogurt going here. I feel like I'm forgetting something to do today. I mean, really our main goal right now is just making money so we can upgrade our stupid house. Like... Um, we need to remember to sell a yogurt, too. I really wish this game had two oysters. Nope. Had, like, a tracker to help you out with things, man. Like, what you still need to donate, what you have uh, donated so far, what you need to ship, etc., etc., etc. You need a UI Info Suite mod like Stardew has, but for freaking Pioneers of Olive Town. We haven't fished in a while. I feel a little bad about not fishing. But like, mining though, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, oof. And we need to do the planting of the thingies. Do I bother watering them today? Do I sell my watering can out? Does it have enough water? It does not. That's annoying. I'll water them, though. I don't like not watering things. It just bugs me. It feels wrong. Like some mushroom spores. I was gonna say that's one thing I didn't think of with the sprinklers. It's gonna get annoying moving around them when we're trying to water. But, <laughs> turns out I'm just stupid. Because, like... <laughs> Bro, we don't need to get around them to water things, because, like, we'll just... They'll water for us. <laughs> Obviously. It's kind of the point. And we'll keep that onion. Sell that crap. Sell the cave pearls. It's another almost five grand for today. We might find some stuff while we're down in the mine. You, 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 you. Of course, we have two different levels of onions. This away, all of this away, actually. We 
need a hammer and hoe and fishing rod. Uh, yeah, we might end up fishing while we're down there. Is there anything? We could use this onion. We'll need another strawberry though if we do that. Either way, I guess it's a new recipe, right? That we haven't made before, so there's no point in like saving it for something else. It's fruit salad. But like what recipes you have and haven't made are like the only thing that seems to have a tracker, man. It's so oof. Yummy, oh my god. Ridiculous. Nothing else new we can make. I hope our fridge gets freaking massive when we upgrade, man. How do we learn to make coffee all of a sudden? It makes sense if, like, we just picked up a coffee bean or something, but no. Throw you guys in here. Throw the mushroom seeds in here. Wait, what are the boxes? Oh, that's fish bait, ain't it? Yeah. Okay. Now then it's getting late. Let's just mine. We're not going to try specifically to get to the bottom today, I don't think. We're just going to mine. Collect as much ore as we can. Or you know what? No, no. I do want to mine. I was going to say maybe we'll clear the farm instead, but no. I have a goal of getting all of the things replaced. All of the fields replaced with sprinklers before the new season starts. Oh, you bastard. Oh, this is like ability to mine a large area at one time is freaking fantastic. Clear so much stone so quickly. Thank you. Come on, ladder. Oh. Bruh. Last spot we mine again. Way to be a pain in the ass game. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, I missed. Oh, run away. Uh, ho? Yes. And then we're definitely gonna get the ball. Again, the balls are just efficient, man. And you get cool stuff, like glass rocks. Or chunks, or whatever the hell it's called. Tired me too, game. Me too. I'm also a little tired. Oh my god. I suck at this. Um no. I do want this though. And the basically for your or raw bread barrel, whatever the hell it is. Yes, give me the silver ore. Damn it, dude. If he wasn't there, I could have got all of them in one go. With this stupid dude in the way. Oh, I see the wall. Oh, that didn't get the wall? Huh. Well, I thought it would. Not a bad haul already, though. Eventually, I hope like in the next mine, iron's actually less common. Like I'm fine to ha with having to revisit mines. I guess we could just ignore the iron some. It's just we're getting a shit ton of iron, but we're lagging behind on silver. Which, sure, silver's meant to be more rare. 
That's fair. Totally get that. But I'm hoping, like, the f further the mine level, the further, like, the better the mine we go to, the less iron we get and the more silver we get, etc. And then if there's another level after that, then, like, the less silver we get, but the more whatever the next one after that is, etc, etc. Just to help out with, like, keeping everything somewhat balanced. And it would give you a reason to revisit the old mines in that case, too. Which would be cool. Yeah, I think... We'll finish up this mining trip the way we've been doing it, but after this one, I think we probably should just start focusing on silver specifically. Probably grab a few iron just because, but yeah. Oh, I didn't realize we haven't found the way down yet. Oop. Looks like we might even get to bed at a reasonable time tonight. That's pretty cool. Iron. That's it. Well, we might get to bed on time tonight. <laughs> Big maybe. Okay, we'll take the free one. We'll get these, because we're here. We'll go down, just because it's quicker than running back over to the other side. And grab the silver that's right in front of us. And, you know what? I don't even think we have the energy to grab that last silver now. We done screwed up. Oh, well. Not a big deal. Get the hell out of here. A lot of iron, though. A decent amount of silver. 36. That's another, what, seven? Silver bars? That's enough to make a couple things. Um. Yeah, go ahead and do more iron. How are we doing here with all this stuff? Oh wait, this is different? Oh, we had to sell the first one, of course. You always sell the first. Move these things down to be identified. Okay. So we have five and seven. That's enough for another sprinkler. Or one upgrade one tool upgrade like so my goal though is to have all of these covered in sprinklers except for this one because of reasons did we water our grass we did okay. uh yeah okay bedtime nothing to sell today or anything nope hi marie goodbye marie Let's go, dude. Four grand. Four and a half grand, whatever. Gladly take that. Surprised my brother's not here, man. How much he likes... Oh, this is new. But how much he likes cozy games and always wants something making noise in the background. Stream, have you noticed? The power of nature is gathering on your farm. I had not noticed, but I guess I do now. Oh! Is that... Do we get to explore the freaking clouds? Wow, a beanstalk. <laughs> Come on, stream, let's climb it together. Bro, you gotta be kidding me for real, though. Is this... Is this another farm? What is... What's with the, like, golden eggs over there? Navi Sprite, it's been so long. A Sky Sprite? Yay, it's Sky Sprite! I missed you, friend! The power of nature on Stream's farm was so great that a beanstalk grew on it. Ooh, this is the first time we've ever had a human guest up here. Hope you have lots of fun here on Beanstalk Island. Is this, like, our greenhouse, basically? Beanstalk Island is a special sky-high location buried in a sea of clouds. The bright-colored Sky Sprite will play mini-games with you here? Oh. Oh, you want to play Digging for Sprites? I can go over the rules if you'd like. Sure. Dig up gold sprites. The more you find, the more points you'll get. Don't dig up any beanstalks. They'll subtract from your time limit. Try to remember where they were planted to avoid them. 
Okay. I was hoping this was like a... Oh, shoot. I was hoping this was like a greenhouse, but I guess not. Oh no! And then it must be this one, right? Let's go, okay. So do we get something for doing that? Sorry, I'm like trying to focus on remembering where everything is. And it would be this whole line. Let's go, dude. Get wrecked. Oh god, okay. Oh god, I'm not gonna remember this one, dude. There's just too much. It's too big. I mean, I did notice it like jiggles a little bit every now and then. That should help. Oh, okay, yep. And then I think there was one there. I think, nope, okay. Excuse me? I can't walk through the beanstalks? One of these, the whole line was clear. I thought it was one of these ones over here. Okay. Oop. I think all three of those ones are bad. Okay. We didn't get all of them that time, but... High score bonus, your max stamina's increased. You've also attained 100 spray coins. Okay, you know what, that's pretty cool. Max stamina increase is good. Does that like, should we keep playing it to do that more? And what is this thing? Do we need to like keep coming back here though? I'm so confused, I don't know what's going on. Holy Let shit, that's a lot of recipes. Are there more? Uh, okay, I will. I promise. I'm hydrating. I'm just very... What is going on? Oh, Essence Maker. That's probably how we do the... The... the, the whatchamacallit stuff. Oh, it's somebody's birthday today. Who are you, Jack? I don't know who Jack is. Hydrate, though. Ow, fuck. Yummy. Ah, good shit. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, return to farm. I kind of wish, like, time didn't move when we were in magical places like that. Okay, none of the trees have fully grown yet. Doesn't look like there's anything we can harvest today. Want well, these things. Come on, dude. Are you not done? You're so close to being done. Refill with what we can. There we go. We got a Uridite trophy? I don't know what we got that for. New title. Uridite. Okay. <laughs> Again, don't know what that's for, but whatever. Uh, we need actual tools. We don't need you or you. We need... That and... That to clear out stuff on the farm. Also gotta remember, do not bring out the cows or chickens today. Because it'd be shitty out here. Brush? 
We can brush the cow? That's cool. Is that something we've always been able to do? I don't think so. I don't remember ever seeing brush pop up before at least. Okay, we need to like not have the hammer out before we crush our crops. Just absolutely destroy them for no reason. Don't forget to take care of chickens. Need to do the chickens. Ooh, fully grown tree. Chop it down. Alright, chickens. Chickens, chickens, chickens. I hope there's enough fodder. There should be. Six out of ten, yeah, okay. There's not like a good at a glance way to know how much fodder you have or need or whatever. Which is too bad. Well, I guess that's everything on this part of the farm. Is there anything we need to do? With ten grand, I don't think so. We can make some sprinklers. How many do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. We need eight sprinklers. I know there's one in this field already, but we'll need one for where we grow our other stuff over there. So we need eight sprinklers. Oh, fodder probably shouldn't go in here. Fodder should probably go in the other chest. You can go there, though. So can you. Oh, we already have fodder here. I just... Got them mixed up at some point. Okay, take the... You and you. How many more sprinklers can we make? Two. Okay. Put these away, and you know what? We can keep sprinklers in this one. For now. I need to double check and see what we need for the house upgrade. We'll take a look at that while we're up here in town. Oh, hello, children. Oh, yeah, that's right. We did their last quest for them. Thanks for getting the yogurt, us the yogurt stream. Cindy and I ate it all up, and it was super tasty. So tasty, in fact, that we deducted it couldn't be from an abducted cow. Which means we're back at square one. Damn. You hate to see it, dude. Huh? What are you all doing out here? Hi, Patricia. We're solving the mystery of that circle that popped up at the park. A circle that appeared at the park? Oh dear, you must mean the animal tracks. Those were animal tracks? Yeah, seems like some wild animals were frightened by something and ran around the whole park, those poor dears. Aw, it wasn't aliens after all? Aliens? Kids really do say the darndest things. Yeah, well, I never really believed it was aliens, so there. Anyway, now that you've found out the answer to your little mystery, how about fixing up the fence and the flowers? Yeah, we'll need some seeds and lumber. Can you bring us some stream? Yeah, well, fun, you three. Chocobo, hello, sir. Why is she irritated? Just wonder if that weird circle was actually just a bunch of spooked animals running around. Then what made them run around in the first place? Oh, that's a good question. Maybe this case is bigger than we thought. So lumber and seeds they need, eh? We should have brought up something to give our people. Uh, I guess we can give them food. How goes? I'm good. <laughs> I don't know why I struggled with that, but here. Do you like fruit compote? Have some fruit compote. You're welcome, Bridget. Talk to Patricia, too, since we're here. How goes you, sir? Ooh, okay. Another cutscene. Howdy, here to do some shopping. Actually, are you hungry by any chance? Made some stew for last night's dinner, but wouldn't you know it, I made far too much of the stuff. I will take the stew. Give stew to me, please. I enjoy stew. Stew, soup, anything. I like it. Feed me, Patricia. <laughs> or Angela. I think that, yeah, Angela. I can vouch for the flavor. It's good stuff, I promise. So how about it? Would you like some? Don't mind if I do. You're a doll, Emilio. Trust me, you're doing me a big favor. Bruh. Give it to me! I don't care if you like him. Feed me! <laughs> Wait, is she even a... She's not a bachelorette, is she? No. 
My folks can't handle rich foods like they used to, so they aren't eating as much these days. Little Cindy is hardly the type to wolf her food down, never has been. Jack's the only one I can count on to eat any decent amount of food, but he likes to eat out sometimes. Problem is, he never warns me beforehand. Toil away over a hot stove, and what do I get come supper time? Sorry, Mom. I already ate. Can you believe it? I could have sworn I raised him to be more considerate than that. For me, it's really special to watch someone enjoy your cooking, but cooking together with someone is even more special. I tried to teach Jack how to cook, but that boy couldn't tell salt from pepper. <laughs> Hope we all have more luck with Cindy's lessons. How about you, Emilio? You ever thought about taking cooking lessons? You're welcome to drop by my place in the evenings. I'm more than happy to teach you what I know. Nice. In that case, maybe you could give me a trial lesson. And if I end up getting the hang of it, well, we'll keep going. Would that be cool with you? Yeah, that sounds wonderful. I'm looking forward to it. Anyways, thanks again for taking some of that stew off my hands. Oh, why, hello there, stream. Would you be interested in a bowl of stew? There's plenty to go around. Fuck yeah, um, give me stew! <laughs> give me stew. I like, aw, uh, did I even get the stew? Yeah, she's not a bachelorette. Okay. Ah, she just seemed awfully interested in that dude, Emilio. Nothing new today? Nothing new. Why are we here anyways? Was it just to talk to her? Must have just been to talk to her. Uh, no, we do need seeds, but not right now. Oh, it's flower seeds we're gonna end up needing anyways, huh? Maybe I confuse the general store with this place. Wait, is Bridget off today? Or is this place just closed on Mondays? Maybe they're not open yet, because this place is open pretty late. Yeah, okay, 12 p.m. to 10 p.m. They're just not open yet. That's fair. What's new in the grocery store? We haven't been to the, we haven't been here in a while. Looks like it's also closed. Okay, never mind then. Who wants to buy groceries on a Monday anyways, right? That's closed, closed today. Nigel's Handyworks? Yes. Uh, flashing warning, friends. You might want to look away for the next couple of minutes if that bothers you. Uh, okay, this one's not flashing right now. That's good. 30 of both lumber, $30,000, and 30 of both ores that we have, or bars that we have. Ugh. Uh, ooh, mushroom logs just co cost money, nothing else. That's cool. Oh god, this is the one that's terrible. The big barn, big coop. Okay, we don't need any of that. Alright. Major flashing done. <laughs> Still might be some, some minor flashing, but... So 30 of both ores. The 30 lumber each shouldn't be too bad. But 30 of both ores. Huh. Could you bring us one bag of fodder seed? Or one lumber? Or do we need both? I guess we can just bring both. One lumber, one fodder seed. That should be easy. I thought we'd need flower seeds since, you know, they suggested planting flowers, but... Fuck, this is the grocery store. Oh wait, is that the general store? Nope, that's groceries. Next one down. This one. Here we go. Buy one fodder seed and one. Do you sell just lumber? No, you only sell the logs. Okay, let me go grab lumber. I I don't know if it's the good lumber or the cheap lumber, but we'll just bring one of both. Guess that means we should probably turn more of our logs into lumber too. We do need thirty of each. Do we have solid logs? Oh yeah, we got a lot of solid logs. Okay. Refill all the machines. It's already full apparently. There we go. Deposit, 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 deposit. Okay. The boys season four got has a date finally, <laughs> I think. I think there was a typo in there, but <laughs> June 13th, no, that's awesome. I'm excited for that. <laughs> God has. <laughs> oh man, I'm super excited for the boys season four. Um, I It sucks that the spinoff show, Gen, Gen X? No, Gen, Gen V. 
that the the Gen V show um, has gotten delayed because of the the untimely accident that one of the dude the the like main dude had the like metal bending dude I can't remember names because yeah but <laughs> but yeah no uh it got delayed because he got into a motorcycle accident and unfortunately died from it i guess so that sucks it's i guess from what i was like hearing before they were planning on doing the whole like one show airs and then the next one and then just like trading back and forth with it sort of thing so there's always one of them about to come out at least which would have been really cool but now they they don't know they're gonna have to do like rewrites and stuff so that sucks. Still excited for the boys season four though. I need to like rewatch at least part of the last season, season three, just because I don't remember like anything, dude. My memory of the show is just zero. It's gone of what happened last. I remember spoilers i guess for season three but like i remember some of the the dudes finding out about the drug they can take to temporarily get superpowers and like fighting against them i remember um the big fight scene like near the end without getting into too spoilery of territory like i remember bits but that's that's it just bits i don't remember anything really about what the hell happened so I'll probably rewatch the last few episodes at least and then go from there. Uh, you know what? I'll keep the egg, I guess, actually. Keep the rest of this stuff. The sun hurt some people in the last episode. See, that I don't remember. <laughs> I, don't... I don't remember him hurting anybody. At the end, it's been a yeah, exactly. It's been a while. Same here, man. <laughs> I do remember the sun hurting people, but I don't think it happened at the end of the last season. I don't think. Yes, yeah, okay. I think that was season two, not season three. Pretty sure. We're going to do more mining today because mining is life. With it being a rainy day, we don't really need the water or anything. So we just have a bunch of time. We still need to like clear this farmland over here at some point. But like, I don't know, man. I want to get the sprinklers before the start of the next season. That's like main goals right now. We are going to focus on silver mining though because... We need, we need that silver. While we're over here, though, let's see what we need to unlock the next area. Uh, solid lumber, 50. Silver ingot, 20. Mortar, 50. I don't know. I don't know if I want to unlock that next area first, or if I want to upgrade my house first. Because similar costs, but... I've been shot four seasons in like four days. I'm living in the future, by the way. God damn, man. You got to teach us your ways one of these days. I want to live in the future. Maybe. I don't know. What's the future like? Do I want to live there? Is it terrible? What's the Final Fantasy VII plot twist, man? There's got to be one in the remake. I'm positive of it. How's GTA 6? Does it live up to the hype or is it garbage? Do they just like focus entirely on online play again? Something that I just personally don't give a shit about. Have you watched the spinoff, Gen V? It's good if you haven't watched it. I won't give any spoilers or anything, but yeah. And I don't know how it's gonna connect to the next season, but I feel like it has to connect to the next season somehow, just with like how it ended. Noodle, thanks for the five bits. Appreciate you. Ooh. 
Okay. A floor like this is hard to pass up. Oh, I hate you so much, Mr. Mr. Thing, whatever you're called. Seven plot twists. Hojo gets black when he has GTC at six. Still isn't he out. <laughs> nice. I. Yep. That's more or less what I expected, honestly, from all of it. <laughs> What would Hojo do with the Black Materia, though? I feel like that's scarier than anything else that could happen. Hojo's just... Oof, man. Big oof. Uh, sure. Break this rock since I'm already charging. Getting ready to feed the Freeloaders. Do you need anything before I come up? Not that I can think of. I think I'm good. Thank you, though. I mean... No. I need to take my dishes down. I was gonna say, like, maybe a drink, but honestly, I have, like, my... The, the blender cup up here from when I had my milkshake the other day. And I have, like, two water bottles up here. So, I think I need to just stop bringing water bottles up and just start drinking. Or start taking stuff down, rather. I've drank all of it. It's just, yeah. So, no. Don't bring more dishes up to me. I'm fine. Thank you, though. Maybe by just focusing on silver ore, we can get down to whatever the bottom of this mine is. If it's possible to get down to the bottom of this mine. One of these days we could, like... I don't know, just focus specifically on that. It's always an option. I still want to know if luck is a thing in this game, man. tired you're fine it's gonna end up being that one right up there dude right next to the existing ladder oh <laughs> sometimes the game hates me i swear it we'll still take the free ones if they're right next to the iron or silver ore rather because i mean they're free <laughs> Based on previous history, Hojo will try to breed the black materia. Yes. Yes, he will. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just thinking of, like, a red 13. Anyways. <laughs> oh, my God. It's probably true. Hopefully, he would, like, try to do it with genetic experimentation and not just straight up breeding. But it's Hojo, so who freaking knows, dude? Can't put anything past that weird dude. Did I go up high enough? I did not go up high enough. Do we eat and stay in the mine? It's what? Five o'clock. I mean, our... Hmm, I don't know. We're not out of energy yet. Luck to Red and Eris in a glass hotel room, so IDK, you tell me? I know! Dude's weird as hell. He probably would. But, like... <laughs> hmm... I like to try and give people the benefit of the doubt. With Hojo, it's not deserved. I understand. But oof, dude. It's literally like a hunk of glass that holds magical power in it. Like, it's... <laughs> I, I want to believe he's better than that. It's unfounded, but like, I want to believe it. Oh, did I tell you I got the uh, Metal Gear Solid collection? Like, the trilogy one? I got it for the Switch, though, because it was super cheap. I don't know how... Like, if the, the Switch one is any worse than the other ones or not, but... It was just cheap, so I picked it up a while back and kind of forgot about it. A couple of weeks ago. Have I made it to Hojo and Machinima Abridged yet? I have not. I actually kind of forgot about the show, to be honest with you. I haven't watched any of it since I watched, like, those two episodes however many weeks ago. <laughs> My apologies. I have been slacking. 
I mean, we might be able to make it to 30 today if we eat some food and keep trying to go down. Also, if we get, like, a little bit lucky. Hmm, do we try and break the red barrel again? How much do we actually damage it? Not enough. Not worth. Go down. Hojo is lore accurate? That kind of scares me. <laughs> As if Hojo wasn't, like, horny enough, dude. I feel like it's gonna be so much worse on Mission Abridged. Okay, if the game doesn't hate me with the ladder spawns, we might make it down to 30. Ooh, let's go game. Thank you. Oh, bro, let's go. Still gonna collect all the silver we see, though, because that was the whole point of me coming here today. Not searching every room, I suppose, but... I mean, we are up to 76. It's pretty good amount. Oh, he left. I was gonna kill the dude, but... He's safer now. Come on, dude. Give me a ladder. And I missed. Bruh, what is this shit? I wonder if it picks the ladder location like as soon as you get in. To the, 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 I almost called it a dungeon. The mine, or if it picks it like every time. Ooh. Oh, I'm full already though? I ate one sandwich. Why am I full already? That's gross. Okay. Mm. We're gonna have to pick. Do we focus on going down or collecting more silver? I think going down, man. I wanna hit floor 30. I wanna know where this mine ends. The first one ended at 10, so I thought this one would end at around 20, but nope. Nah, I, I should be able to get both right, yeah. Let's go. 27? 27! Alright, down. Bruh, the ladder spawns too! Alright, I think we can sacrifice a little bit of time to see if there's any more iron or silver. Fuck. Sorry, I'm used to it being like copper, iron, gold, maybe, steel, whatever next. I just think of it being like that. It's weird that it skips straight to iron in this game to me. Okay, we need a ladder. Previous experience has told me there's a good chance the ladder's gonna be right here next to the other one. Nope. Okay, well, still worth it. Please be the last floor game. I think if we go to bed after 10, we wake up late. Last floor? It's taking a long time to load. Let's freaking go, dude! You're a long way from home, stream. I'm impressed. As a reward, I'll take you somewhere special. Follow me. Oh, we get to go to another special place? Oh. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> I didn't expect to go to hell, dude. Is this another minigame zone, or...? <laughs> There's a freaking lava crab there! It's a place that only Earth Sprites know about. You're a special friend, stream. Feel free to come by and play with us anytime you like, but shh, it's a secret to everybody. Is that a Legend of Zelda reference? Lava Caves is a special location. Here, the intense heat never lets up, and you'll find yourself working up a sweat in no time flat. The unique-looking Magma Sprite will play a minigame with you here. Oh, you want to play Mining Frenzy? I'd go over the rules. Yeah. Gain points by smashing stones. Rare stones are worth extra points, so be sure to crush them. Keep an eye on your stamina. Running out of it before time's up will subtract from your total score. Wait, what's down here? Oh, that must be where the thing is. Bro, look at the lava crab, though. I want to... Mm, can I ride the lava crab? Does time pass while we're down here? Wait, do we get to keep the stuff we collect? Huh. 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 
I have no idea. Probably not, based on like everything already disappearing. I wonder what the next upgrade's like, with how much stuff we're already smashing, like... We're already doing like the whole ring around us, I could have done that so much better. That was a waste of potential. <laughs> yeah, a mind mini game. Let's freaking go, dude. <laughs> no, like, I'm pretty sure it'll give us a stamina bonus, though. So I'm actually a little bit excited for it, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, sure, the mini game's whatever, but the stamina boost, permanent stamina boost, though, is totally worth it. I don't know if there's a certain number of points we need to make, but the last mini game we got, we got one, so like. I'm assuming it'll be the same here. Oh, we ran out of stamina. Okay. Oh, shit. We ran out of stamina. So we got a subtraction. That sucks. Minus 116. That's not that bad, I don't think. Whatever. Got 25 sprite coins. Hmm... Let's play again. I might look it up and see, like, if there's a certain number that we need to hit or something. To get the... to get the bonus points. Plus a thousand points? Dude, let's go! We just got lucky as hell. Guess like the better. Hmm. I kind of wish we had an even better. How much are these things worth? Is it worth smashing them? This might not be worth it, but we're already at more points than we were last time. So as long as we don't run out of stamina, then like whatever. Hmm. Eighty points each. Was it worth the time? I don't know. How much is this thing worth? Do we have the stamina to even smash this thing? I think we do. Either way, like I said, we're already way over what we had last time. Hundred and fifty each. Probably not worth, honestly. But we got some sort of sound, so I'm assuming that means something good happened. Can we break one or both of these before our stamina runs out? No, we cannot. Alright. So I guess the best thing to do would be to just let our stamina run out then, right? Kind of fumbled because of different controller functionality. Is that like just a switch problem or just in general? Like it's not great. That's sad to hear that, but still. Still happy to have it, but yeah. Obviously good ports, remasters, whatever you want to call it. It's like, it's good stuff. Oh, that was a diamond that gave us a thousand points. Okay, that makes sense. So Ruby... It must be 80 each. Raw emerald is 150 each. Okay. Got 40 sprite coins. Damn it. And it spends an hour each time we're down there, too. Oof. Okay. I'm going to look it up real quick. So I just want to know if we can get another stamina upgrade from this or not. Uh, Pioneers of Olive Town... Stamina upgrades. How to increase your maximum stamina? No, 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 no. Uh, shrine blessings. Don't know what that is. Digging for sprites minigame. Mining frenzy. Um. Sure, you need. Uh, 
It just says it's easily achievable when your tools are at a gold level, so... I guess we just gotta get either super lucky or whatever. It doesn't say what score we need, it just says you have to get a high score. So... Hmm... That sucks. Okay. So we do need to play it more, but not necessarily right now. Why I'm looking things up though. Pioneers of Olive Town food guide? What is like, how does food work? Food types and effects. Salads temporarily increase max. Soup temporarily decreases stamina consumption. That must be the gold thing. You use less. Okay. Entrees grant full status? Dessert can eat, eat whilst full, though. Oh. Okay, so we don't want to eat entrees if we want to fill up more stuff. We just want to eat a bunch of... Dessert, I guess? I don't... I still don't really understand it, though. Other dishes... Huh. I don't know. I don't really understand. Question of the day. This one was weird. The AI spit out some weird ones this time whenever I asked about it. Viewers about their first video, or ask viewers about their first video game console or handheld system. What were their favorite games and what memories they associate with them? Absolutely washing your family on the PS1 playing Tekken 2 and extended family with Yoshimitsu. That's nice, man. <laughs> I'm assuming you just absolutely destroyed them. I'm not even surprised, to be honest, because, like, yeah. I mean, I've never actually played against you in Tekken, but I know you're a hell of a lot better than me at Tekken. So, <laughs> again, not terribly surprised. I, for me, my first uh, gaming console that I had was the original Nintendo and I don't know who on my father's side of the family gave it to me, but they gave me an original Nintendo with a duffel bag full of old Nintendo games. And I just played the hell out of every single one of them, man. The Little Mermaid, um, it's Mario Brothers 1, 2, and 3, of course. Mario Brothers 3 is still one of my favorite games to this day. And uh, it really just sparked my, my passion for gaming in general. I was probably about five years old whenever I got that thing. And uh, yeah, one of my best childhood gaming memories, though, was I got gifted a original Game Boy DMG from my uh, grandmother on my mom's side of the family. And with it, a copy of Pokemon Blue. And I was on the toilet playing Pokemon Blue when my Squirtle evolved, dude. My first evolution of a Pokemon. And it was amazing. It was just such a great feeling, you know? I was so surprised. I had never played a Pokemon game before. Um, I had watched, like, the show a bit, of course. But I still didn't know much about how the game or how it worked or anything like that. So it just blew my little freaking mind, man. And to this day, the first time I play any Pokemon game, my first, like, my starter Pokemon, I always pick whatever is the, uh, the water starter. Because of that experience with having my Squirtle grow up, man. Ooh, we got our first thing of wheat. Now, that means we can, with wheat, we can, uh, da -da -da -da, crush it into flour, right? I think that's how that works. Is anything else grown? Nothing else is grown yet. Okay, so what? Is it this? No. Is it this? The <laughs> Why would it be the brick maker? Wait, how do we... Huh. No, cancel. How do we... How do we process wheat? I thought it would have been in the seasoning maker? Not the yogurt maker, of course. It's not the condiment maker. Wouldn't be. De <laughs> Excuse me. Holy shit. <coughs> oh my god. Powder maker? Yeah. Coffee beans, cacao, chili peppers, wheat, and herbs into powdery seasonings. Do we not have a powder maker? Bro, what? I could have swore we had one. 
child in bathroom. My Squirtle evolved, concerned parents on the other side of the door. Uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe a little bit. <laughs> when you put it that way, yeah, of course it sounds a little weird, okay? But like... Nah, I was. It, it, it's super excited about it, man. It was sick. It's one of my uh, one of my earliest memories. I don't have very many memories from childhood. I just, I don't know. Memory's not good. Uh, we're gonna sell one coffee bean. So we'll, we'll crush three of them. And then I guess wheat is gonna be more or less the same thing, right? We'll take all this wheat, put it here, because it goes in the crusher. And then take one to sell? I don't think we need raw wheat for anything. Do we need cherries for anything? Okay, let's take care of our animals before I forget. Because I definitely will forget. Pet the dude. Make some yogurt. Get the chickies out here. We also need to water this thing. Almost forgot about that. Watering can. Oh, we need to water like our normal crops too, huh? I'm pretty sure the general store is closed on Tuesday, sadly. So we won't be able to buy more seeds today, but I guess that's fine. Because we're going to want to be doing all of like the new seeds for the next season anyways. Here soon. <laughs> you away. Put you away. All right, so water first. And then we'll sell, just in case I miss something. Did we pet Marie, or was Marie already outside by the time we got up today? I feel like she was already outside. She was, okay. Glad we remembered to pet her. How do we have seven water when we water in sets of three? No, no, I did not. Wait, is this tea ready for harvest? No, okay. For some reason, I thought it was popping up to harvest it. Oh, we got two trees to chop down over here, too. All kinds of stuff we need to do today, man. It's a busy day. I guess that's what happens whenever you stay out, like, super freaking late mining. And playing weird mining mini games. Ooh, you know what? We can probably plant one set of flowers. One of the spring flowers. I'm pretty sure one of them grew in three days. So if that place is open, we can do that today. And then we're probably not going to plant anything in the other ones. We'll ignore that for now. Hey, take it easy, Chocobo. Thank you for stopping out, man. find a funny tree man to send you what a couple purple wiggle tiktoks i'm not into the wiggles though and i don't care if you think he's hot i just find that weird who finds wiggles hot dude i don't mm, i'm a little uncomfortable <laughs> i don't know bro Are all the trees finally gone? I'm tired of waiting to finish this thing. I'm just gonna smash. Hulk smash, bro. All right, grab my flooring out of here. Finish my road. Should have grabbed my, whatchamacallits too. My dudes, my sprinklers. You away, you away, you away. Is that it? That's it. And then over here. Hey, two sprinklers. The perfect number. Put one here. Even though I don't think that's ready for planting yet. Put one here, which is... I mean, I guess we could just grow two sets of whatever flowers that grow in three days. Are they even open before we go up there? Uh, sell the coffee bean. Coffee's worth a good amount. We'll sell, like, 
at least 21 of the strawberries, whatever. Sell the wheat. We've sold milk before. Sell the clams. I don't care. Is it in the map? Yeah, facility information. General store. Closed Tuesdays. Yeah, that's what I thought. The museum's open. We can stop up there. See what they need and whatnot. That sucks that they're closed. Again, not terribly surprised, I guess, but... Another cutscene. Hey, stream, you're not gonna believe this. I saw that fish person, no joke. There I was, staring out at the ocean, getting ready to cast on my line, when all of a sudden it popped up out of nowhere. I wanted to catch that darn thing, but it swam away before I could go grab my net. Fish person, you say? Never fear, Ace Detectives Mikey and Cindy are here. You heard her. No case is too big for us to crack. Strange first fish person by the beach, huh? What could it be? What do you think, stream? Uh, a film shoot? My, my, what's all the commotion about? Well, Misaki, you see. I'm mysterious, you know? I did cook up a strange deep sea fish a while back. Suppose that might be related to all this. What kind of deep sea fish? Uh oh, is the fish person mad because you cooked it up? See, you must have angered the guardians of the sea. Oh no, what have you done? Now they're gonna send an entire fish person army up to us. Just have to wait and see now, won't we? Take care. Does she just enjoy, like, fucking with the children? Is that what's going on? I think she might just enjoy screwing with the children, man. She didn't even deny it. She's the most down-to-earth person ever. That means it's gotta be true. No! All of town's done for! Goodbye, cruel world. Wait, are we really gonna build a protective barrier around town? Oh wait, flowers! We were gonna buy flower seeds today, I'm an idiot. Are they open? <laughs> flower shop. Yes, they're open, let's go! Okay, flowers. Hello, people. Wait, doesn't Lars do the tool work? So that means I probably- I was thinking of upgrading my fishing pole. I don't know if I said that out loud or not, but... I guess I won't be doing that today. Yeah, no, close on Tuesdays, okay. That's the bistro, which... They should be open by now, right? Yeah. Hello, Bridget. Do you like... You like sweet food, right? Here, have a cherry. You like cherries? Sweet, thanks, I like this stuff. You're welcome, dude. Hello. Hello, Patricia. Hi, Angela, come back! I wanted to say hello. There you go. Alright, flower shop. I need flower seeds, please. I would like to buy items. Four days, five days, six days. So the only one we can grow, sadly, are tulips, which I know we've grown before. But they grow in three days. Yeah, screw it. Okay. So we need, what, 16? To fill our fields? I mean, we could plant beans or something that we know is going to go into the next season anyways. We'll do that. We'll just buy eight, and then tomorrow we'll buy some whatever. Um, do you like strawberries? Hmm. Oh, yes, thank you. I don't know what that means. Does that mean he liked it? Did he hate it? I... I don't understand. Oh, you're a tourist. Whatever. Go away. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand why our entire, like, goal in this town is to get more tourists, man. I want them to leave, please? Less tourists, Hello. better tourist? Wow! wow. Oh. Will you appraise this shit for me? It's probably just cave pearls and silver war, but... Yep, two silver war. Imagine that. Talk to you since we're here. Um. I think it might actually be faster to just go outside and run over than to run upstairs and do all that. Maybe we'll still go fishing today even though we can't upgrade. Raw red barrel, we do actually have that. And one solid lumber, we have that too. Raw red barrel and solid lumber. It's free money, dude, like... Hi, Bridget, do you like strawberries? Thank you for the gift, you're welcome. I still don't know what that means. Uh -huh. Hi, 
time, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> Why am I carrying the strawberries around with me anyways? Why didn't I sell them? Was I planning on keeping them? Maybe I was going to throw them in the fridge. That's probably what was going on. Cherry, strawberry, egg. And we're out of space. Imagine that. Um... Take the level 1 mayonnaise, I guess, and put the milk in there. We're gonna get yogurt in a minute, though. And... Bruh, the game kills me. Is that solid lumber? One solid lumber. And then some raw red barrel. Don't remember how many, so we'll just take all of it. Plant our tulip seeds here. And then that should be it. Before I forget, let's start up more log production. More of you. More of you. And then put all of this stuff away. Can we eat the mayonnaise? We can't. We can just chug the jar of mayonnaise. I like it. That's how it should be, man. I'm just gonna... Mm, I don't know. It's probably worth good money, actually. I was gonna say I'm just gonna gift the mayonnaise to someone. But, like, I guess it's different when it's homemade mayonnaise. But at the same time, I would still find it a little weird if some dude just walked up to me and was like, here's a jar of mayonnaise. I made it myself. You know, like... I think that'd make me just a tiny bit uncomfortable, to be honest. Thanks, I guess, but... Do I want your homemade mayonnaise? Hmm. I don't know. I don't think I do. Another cutscene? Holy shit. Good to see you, stream. I've got a favor to ask you. First thing first, I'd like to hear your opinion on something. What do you think this town needs in order to further its development? Um. A ton of entertainment facilities. Learn giant companies. And. I don't want giant companies. I guess entertainment would be nice. Ah, wonderful idea indeed. But you see, I've thought up something even better. What we need is a mascot. Why'd you even ask? It's a fantastic proposition, is it not? Genius even. Hmm? Why are you here? No, I live here. Do I need a reason? No, I mean, aren't you supposed to be working in George's Ferry, not running today? Oh, that. Nah, I'm working today. I just came back to grab my wallet. Just pretend I'm not here. Keep going on about your mascot thing. Jacopo, you... Oh, never mind. As I was saying, I'm having trouble narrowing down what our mascot should be, which is where you come in, stream. I'd like you to pick a mascot for our town from the following candidates. First option is a cow, the very portrait of an idyllic farm and rustic country life. Second option is a dolphin. Olive Town sells itself on its proximity to the ocean, after all. And the third option is me, the one, the only, the son of the mayor, Jacopo. Why are you still here? And no, you can't just volunteer yourself. My vote's for Jacopo. I like the cow, if I had to actually pick. I haven't told you what the actual third option is. You're sure cow is the best? Oh man, I lost to a cow. What did I ask you to choose, so I'll honor your decision. Thanks for your help. Hope you'll once again aid me in our fair town when the time comes. I wonder what would have happened if I actually selected Jacopo. Kinda wish I would have now, not gonna lie. Raw red barrel. Deliver. 600 gold for me. And a single solid lumber to build Mikey's fence. And then what new stuff have we gotten? Ooh, nice. We got a chest, some money, some beans, and is this apple juice? Yeah, we got some apple juice. Okay, that's cool, I guess. Um, bruh. We're like, we have so many chests, I don't know what to do with them all. If we could put them in our house, I wouldn't hate it. Because I would just store all my, like, overstock of, or overflow of food in there, but... No, you gotta upgrade your house to have more storage in the house. Sell this. I would usually sell my first bean or anything I get. You could sell the wooden item box. Honestly, screw it. I'm gonna sell it. Yeah, whatever. And go ahead and sell the first bean. 
We'll get more beans anyways. We're literally growing them right now, so like, yeah. Um... Okay. Ooh, did we get our first coffee? Let's go! Coffee powder. We need to sell the first one. So I don't forget. Oh, we need to put away... The raw red barrel. I don't know what it's for, if anything, but... I feel like it's a, important to just, I don't know, sell everything that you get. The first thing that you get, at least. There's so many trees. Okay. Chop, chop, chop. That's what we're gonna do. Clear the farm more again. Never-ending battle. We're gonna need more solid lumber eventually anyways. Ooh, can we get... Nope, I don't think we can get the top one. Nah, damn. Doesn't quite reach. Or that one. Damn, dude. Getting unlucky. With the placement of these random trees. Glad it doesn't use energy when we miss. <laughs> That's handy. Because I miss a lot. Finish, like, clearing as much as we can without dying. And then probably go around and collect stuff. See if there is any more stuffs to be collected. Oh, I keep forgetting about the salt, dude. Yeah, get the salt, too. All the salt, please. Thank you, game. Reminds me, I need to remember to keep my machines going. I'm always forgetting to do that as well. Just to, like, keep refilling them with stuff anytime they run out. Although right now I have it working on, like, coffee or something. So it is doing something productive at the moment, at least. It's not just doing nothing. You're fine, hush. Keep chopping trees. No complaining, just chopping. And I just realized that guide thing that I was reading about the, the food. It tells you that entrees grant the full status, but it doesn't say why you would want that. I still feel like being full is a bad thing. You just can't eat more food. I'm assuming it gives you some sort of bonus, right? There's some sort of reason why you would want to get full, but I don't know what it is, though. Egg sandwich. That gives us a lot of energy, right? Yeah. Keep chopping or not, I guess. Oh, you know what we can do? Takes a lot of energy. Clear some of these things. Can we charge scoop? No. Okay. Maybe it just takes less energy, or maybe we scoop a little bit more each time? I don't know the, the benefit of having the iron bucket. Give me stuff, please. Heavy object, time-worn object. Meh. <laughs> I mean, I'm not... I don't know. It's not like I expected much from it. It's just... Just more stuff for the museum that we've probably gotten before. They also mentioned the ability to get pumps to empty out, like, pawns to get the treasure in the bottom of them. But I have no idea how to make a pump. We don't have a recipe for that. Two more heavy objects. Any more, like, puddles? Yes. We do have this side of the farm almost clear, besides like all of the new stuff that just constantly pops up. Not much we can do about that though. Well, unless we like completely cover the ground in something. I think I might pass out, why? We still have plenty of energy, dude.
I don't understand this game sometimes. Collect the butterbur. Oh no, my bag's full. Uh, put away that then. Oh, we also need to go back to like the sprite village and assign all of our new sprites because we have collected a bunch of new sprites. Kind of forgot about them, to be honest. Is there any, like, spot we can chop down at least two trees? There's one. Is there a better spot? Can we get three from this one? I don't think so. No, we can't. Lame. I think we have enough energy to chop both of these down, though. Yeah. That'll probably be it for us. We... Our inventory's like full. Our energy's basically out. But most of the secondary farm's done now. Are you still going? You're still going. Grass. Mm, I guess that's it. We don't really get like that much stuff to put in there, eh? Put the rock salt in there, the pepper in there. We didn't get any sugar today, annoyingly. Oh. Ugh. You, come here. This stuff will go in the fridge. All of this stuff, actually, will go in the fridge if it'll fit. Any machines that need, like, ran? Seasoning maker. This can go in the seasoning maker, though, right? The peppercorn? Does this go in the seasoning maker? The salt? Oh. Yeah, okay. What are you? Brick maker. We don't need bricks. Condiment maker. We don't have anything to make condiments out of yet. Everything else is doing its thing. <laughs> Bog, you, iron ore. Probably should have done the silver ore too, but too late. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot the silver ore. Duh! Put you back in here. And then go home. Do we get money for, like, the bags? No. They're worth nothing. Okay. That's fine. That's fair. Oh, I'm gonna forget next time I play. It's already after 10 anyways. Let's go someplace special. The Earth Sprite Village. I'm sure they have stuff for us, and we've unlocked a bunch of new ones, so... Earth Sprite Management! We have, what, 35 more? Let's put... 10 more here? No, let's just get you up to 10. Get you up to 10. And then put another 25 here. I'm gonna try to maximize this one first, the log sprite. I feel like that's actually a terrible idea, but whatever. We got three sap. That's, that's it? Alright. <laughs> I wonder if it's just like they give us something random every day. Maybe we should be stopping over here a lot more often than we do. Ten stone, one iron ore? And twelve grass. Thanks, sprites. What can we spend our coins on? Ooh, that's new. A radish? An almond? So we could, like, buy these, and then once we get the seed maker, we could make seeds out of them, right? So that's something, at least. I wonder if you, there's, like, crops you can only get by doing that sort of thing. Anyways, guys, this is going to be the last night for us, and we're getting ready to go to bed now. Well, once I drop off all this stuff in the chest again. And, uh, then drop everything else in the... The fridge...
keep you in there. You, you will keep the pink cat flowers. So we'll give them to the people we like tomorrow, if we remember. Put away the tools. And I think that should be it. Do we get any new... Can we make anything new? We can make clam chowder. That's a new thing we can make. Uh, can't we just like... Yeah, auto-select lowest quality first. Okay, yeah, it requires specific things. So lowest quality first, cook. Clam chowder, let's go. Anything else that we can make that's new that we haven't made before? Oh, a maple muffin? Please and thanks, game. I'll make a maple muffin, that sounds delicious. But no, that's it, okay. All right, go to bed. It's late, 11.13. All right, guys. Thanks for coming and hanging out while we played a little bit more of Story of Seasons, Pioneers of All the Town. I'll be back in a couple of days or so <laughs> to play probably more of this. Until then, have a good night, everybody. Thanks for stopping out. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye, y'all. Are we going to get interrupted tomorrow? I always have to check and see. Just look outside and see what's going to happen. We are going to get interrupted again tomorrow. Bruh. That'll have to wait till next time. <laughs> Later, guys. We're gonna kick our ass because we've wasted all of our potions and stuff screwing around with Bahamut. <laughs> Put you back. Garuda, pile drive, and excuse me. Oh, that's right. <laughs> we sold all of our abilities. Okay. Uh, not Judgment Bolt, here. 